And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. According to a new report, young black girls are entering puberty much sooner than normal and starting their menstrual cycles while they are still in elementary school. Today I spoke with pediatric endocrinologist Dr. Riku Mera. She pointed out to the, the reasons why this is happening. Let's take a look. Why are we seeing these these ages lower and lower over the years when it comes to the menstrual cycle, particularly with young black girls? Yeah, so that's a great question. So, you know, I um, I'm a pediatric endocrinologist, so I see a lot of these girls who come to see me for early puberty, and we have been seeing it more and more um, over the past couple of years. In fact, the incidence has increased post pandemic as well. Mm -hmm. And really what we're thinking is the main reason that girls are going through puberty early, and this has been happening for many, many years, but the main reason that it's been increasing, we think, you know, maybe some gen genetic factors, there may be some environmental factors involved, but the common culprit that we see in all the research studies is increased weight or increased body mass index. Mm -hmm. and so, you know, the increased amount of weight that you have can trigger the body to think that you're ready to go into puberty, when in fact you may not be from a chronological age perspective. And so if the body is tricking the individual, but they may not actually be hitting puberty, right? Or is that? No, so what happens is they actually do go through puberty. So the typical age for girls to start puberty is 10 with breast development. Then they get a growth spurt around the age of 11 and most girls get their period around 12. Okay, and what we call precocious puberty or early puberty is when girls get um, signs of puberty, meaning breast development, before the age of eight. So there can be girls who start getting, you know, early breast development before the age of eight, and then they end up getting their period at typically around the age of 10. And the reason that we think that happens is certain genetic factors are involved, but obesity also or increased weight can play a role. You also mentioned environment. What could be going on in the environment around them that could also promote this? Yeah, so, I mean, there has been some discussion about certain and what we call endocrine disruptors, so things that are, in, you know, plastics that we're not aware of or um, environmental factors, but there's not any good research studies that show that um, one particular type of environmental factor plays a role. We do know also that, you know, with, with regards to the environment, you know, our food triggers also can be there too, which lead to, you know, increased weight. And so the environment that we grow up in also plays a role. Um, you know, when we have some of these girls who also have, you know, limited access to healthier food or healthier food options or, you know, exercise or activity that also contributes to increased weight. And those are the environmental factors that we're mainly talking about. Now, when this study indicated uh, that it could happen as young as five years old, is that an extreme rarity? Um, I would say it probably is a little bit more rare, but we do see it. Um, you know, so pitu the pituitary gland is the area of the brain that triggers puberty. And there are certain, you know, in some instances where girls have developmental delays or pituitary hormone abnormality, brain abnormality, sometimes we can see early puberty triggered earlier in those girls. Um, but we can see, you know, no other, you know, brain issues or problems. Um, and in some girls, we do see early puberty as early as five or six. That can happen. And for the parents who may not be prepared for this, and I'm sure there will be some parents, and they're like, what the hell do I do? What advice do you have for those parents who may not be expecting about with early puberty or earlier than they uh, under or went it or went through it when they were young? Yeah, so I think the most important thing is just to be vigilant with it. Um, and, you know, if you see your child who's having, you know, your daughter, especially who's having breast development before the age of eight, it's important to talk to your pediatrician or a pediatric endocrinologist like myself to have the evaluation, um, especially if the girl has, you know, some breast development and then has a growth spurt. That's really important to, to get that evaluated and looked at.